Welcome back to Rexpine TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may not be seated today is tuesday april 11th 2023 let us take a nice relaxing brain break let's learn sloth breaths to find a moment of calm and rest in every day first relax and loosen your body like a lazy sloth and breathe in as you smell a flower Then breathe out and slowly toss the flower as you stretch. Breathe in and smell the big tropical flower. Then breathe out and gently toss the flower as you stretch your arms. Let's try. What a great way to start this amazing day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Tatiana. Hi Patriots, today in history on April 11, 2013. Fossilized dinosaur eggs with embryos were discovered in China. The type of dinosaur that was found was a clutch of oviraptor eggs, one specimen that has been referred to as baby yingling. The 72 million year old fossil shows resemblance to modern day birds and shows a complete skeleton of the dinosaur. Fun fact, if you shine a light behind it, you can see the embryo in all its glory. Looks like this is a blast from the past. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Tatiana. Today's lunch is chicken taco salad, salsa, light mayonnaise, seasoned corn, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is bagel, cream cheese, graham crackers, fresh banana, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch and breakfast can change at any time. It's always being a lunch guy. Don't forget to let you know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's get back to Nia. Thank you, Jasmine. Students, this current exceptional software challenge ends on June 2nd, so check the fly for the requirements and keep getting those lessons done. Scholars, today the kindergartners will be ending the spring testing season by taking their reading NWA. Good luck to them and good job to everyone that has already completed their testing. Patriots, our cell phone policies are still in place. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning and closes at 7.55 a.m. Tomorrow is the 5th and 6th graders turn to shop. Let's keep racking up those points, Patriots. It's that time of year, Patriots. The book fair is open now and is closing on the 14th. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to shop at the book fair. I hope you're all excited because I know I am. Yesterday we had our Patriot of the Month ceremony. Let's go check out some highlights. Um, but we are glad that you are here to celebrate your student. We are going to be celebrating today honesty. These students are the quality of or fact of possessing of brightness and fairness. Alright, let's give our kindergarten students a great
Congrats to all of you that earned this award. And now for what you have all been waiting for, our new game show segment. Hello Patriots, and welcome to our first ever long-awaited game show, Guess That Mystery RPTV Baby. In this round, two randomly chosen contestants will be going head-to-head. -head. The winner of today's game will win 50 Patriot dollars and will be moving on to the ultimate final championship, airing two days from now, and will get a chance to win 100 Patriot dollars. Today, we have Dylan and Maribel. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. You have 10 seconds to guess which present day photo matches the baby photo. 10 seconds are starting now. Dylan. I think it's Neil. Congratulations, Dylan. You'll be moving on to the next round. I don't wish to hear. Coming up next, we have Anandi versus Malcolm. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. Your 10 seconds start now. Malcolm, what is your answer choice? Destiny. Incorrect. Anandi, would you like to steal? Yes. Peyton. Correct. Congratulations, Anandi. You'll be moving on to the next round. Next up, we have Israel versus Juan. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. You have 10 seconds to guess which present day photo matches the baby photo. Juan. Who do you think matches the photo? Not a tree. Incorrect. Israel, would you like to steal? What is your answer choice? Sophia. Correct. Sophia was the correct answer. Congratulations, you will be moving on to the next round. Next up, we have Gabrielle and Dallas. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. Your 10 seconds start now. Gabrielle, what is your answer choice? Christian. Incorrect. Dallas, would you like to steal? Yes. Who do you think matches the photo? Santiago. Congratulations, Dallas. You'll be moving on to the next round. <laughs> now, for our semifinals round, we have Anandi versus Dylan. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. Your 10 seconds start now. <laughs> Dylan, who do you think matches the photo? Melanie. Correct. Congratulations, Dylan. You'll be moving on to the finals. Now for our second semifinals, we have Israel versus Dallas. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. 10 seconds are starting now. Dallas, what is your answer choice? Destiny. Correct. Congratulations, Dallas. You'll be moving on to the finals. Dylan and Dallas, welcome to our final round. Here is your mystery RPTV baby. Your 10 seconds start now. Dallas, who do you think matches the photo? Adasha. Correct. Congratulations, Dallas. You'll be moving on to the Ultimate Final Championship game. Thank you to all contestants for participating, and congratulations to Dallas for winning our first game. I can't wait to see you in the Ultimate Finals round, but until then, salutations, Patriots, and have a great day. Wow, that was unbelievable. Now let's see what's going to be today's weather with Melanie. Thank you, Nia. Today's weather is expected to be 76 degrees Fahrenheit and raining. And other weather news, did you know that global warming might be good for squids? Global warming is an ongoing issue right now that it's affecting many things like earth climate and food supply. However, squids actually seem to be thriving. Researchers found that the warming waters are actually helpful for squids and it shows. Cephalopods, which include kettlefish, octopus, and squids are actually increased a lot in the past six decades. Because of the large amount of squid, you might start seeing a lot more calamari on restaurant menus. Now let's go to Ariel for our birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday girls and boys are Adam Robinson, Dominique Vial, and Kelso Witten. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Nia. Thanks, Ariel. Patriots, here are your packs expectations. Represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, do the school the vibe respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss June. You were the only one who got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was... What toy is used to clean wallpapers? The correct answer was Play-Doh. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! Who is that with the neck and no head? Two arms and no hands. What is it? Teachers, 
Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!